Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here with a brand new all horror DVD and Blu-ray collection update video. Haven't done an all horror video in quite a while now, but I have a whole bunch of new horror stuff to show you guys that I got sent to review and talk about for you guys. So some really cool stuff in here. Uh, the first ones here are all from uh, the Dread Central Presents line, and these are all available on the Epic Pictures website. And these are three different uh, double feature releases here. So each of these one, you know, ones have um, two movies on them. The thing that's pretty cool about them as well, though, is like you can actually switch them to the cover that you want. So, like, for example, for this one, you know, the film is hashtag Screamers, but you can also switch inside to the um, alternate uh, movie that's in here as well for the film uh, The Monster Project. So every one of these ones has this where you guys can set it to, you know, which, uh, you know, uh, cover you want it to have. This one, like I said, has on here uh, two different films. It has The Monster Project as well as Hashtag Screamers. And uh, Hashtag Screamers, this is an inter these are both ones uh, found footage films. This was actually a pretty interesting one about this group that has like... Um, sort of like a YouTube type group and they're doing like a documentary kind of following their success because they came became very successful and their website like has the ability like the viewers like who watch their content and everything it finds out like information about them through like cookies and all that kind of stuff like what they look at and then it, like it pops up ads and everything and they're always kind of looking for new viral type videos and they end up discovering this one video it's like one of those kind of videos where you like you're watching it and like a character pops up and scares you and stuff like that it's like that kind of video they discover Cover. And they're trying to, it becomes like successful on the site, and they're trying to get like exclusive rights to these videos. So, like, the person who makes them can only post them on their, you know, channel, you know, on their website. And they're looking into it, and it becomes this whole weird thing. And the other one, and they also all um, have features as well. Uh, you know, on um, hashtag screamers, that one has a commentary track, deleted scenes, and trailer. And the other one on here is, um, you know, the. Um, Monster Project, and this is one another found footage film about these guys who are trying to make videos, to like getting sort of successful making videos, like scary type videos, where like they were faking stuff, like they were seeing a creature and things like that. I'll switch it to that one when I talk about that, but it has like videos of them like uh, creature kind of things and kind of just trying to like get popular making these creepy videos. And they end up like making like some of them, but then they come up with the idea that they want to actually try and you know make this gimmick of uh, finding real monsters. So they put up like a thing up online looking for real monsters, and like people are submitting kind of things and stuff like that. So it's kind of them going and trying to get together these you know real monsters, and it becomes this whole thing that maybe they actually have found some real monsters. And that one has on here a commentary track, behind the scenes making it, which is 45 minutes. It has some web series on here, 11 episodes, as well as a trailer. Uh, the next double feature one has two different films, and it has Zombieology, as well as uh, Vidar the Vampire. And on Zombieology, it has a making of, it has a um, short film on here, as, a tra as well as a trailer. And this is like a movie about these slacker guys, um, and they basically, it ends up being a zombie outbreak where they are. And it's kind of them trying to survive, and it's like really great set pieces where they film this. They have like hu huge amounts of like zombie extras and everything. It's kind of them trying to survive, and like get it together and survive, and it's like, they they're come up with like crazy kind of weapons and stuff to try and like save the day and everything and um, the other one on here like I said is Vidar the Vampire and like I said it's cool that you can switch between the covers that you want on these and Vidar the Vampire is a movie about this guy who is kind of like has like a like a normal kind of farmer kind of guy he doesn't really do too much and he ends up like wanting to do something big uh, you know actually have something big happen to him and he actually wants to become a vampire so he starts like you know trying to like pray to um, you know uh, the demons and stuff like that and he ends up becoming a vampire and it's like also him like being interviewed by this guy talking about his vampire ways and everything it's a really fun goofy film that has on here though uh, audio commentary track on here as well as a, a short film and a trailer on this one and the last uh, double feature one this has on here the film imitation girl as well as nina forever imitation girl is this kind of alien that crashes down to earth and it takes the form of this woman and um it's sort of like her wandering around kind of experiencing the, the the world and not really knowing what she's seeing and everything and then she gets taken in by this family this you know brother and sister and it's like um there's also though the real her that she took the form of and it's kind of her having her you know issues in her own life and everything it's a really really trippy well-made movie that one has on here a commentary track on here has deleted scenes has the imitation girl original short film as well as a fright fest uk um one 
my first interview on here. And Nina Forever is one that never came out to the U.S. until now. That has on here a making of uh, early short films as well as trailers. But this one was a movie that I always was really wanting to see and it ended up like never getting a US release and so I'm really glad that you know Dread Central has put this one out and this is basically though about this guy whose girlfriend ended up dying and he ends up you know meeting this other girl at work and they start having a relationship but the girlfriend kind of comes back and she's like all dead and like really big mess and it becomes like anytime like they're together this girl is around in the bed and everything and it becomes this really really weird thing and she's all like rotten and everything it is a crazy crazy movie really really glad though that this one finally got a release like I said, you guys can get these all on the Dread Center. Um, you know, they're all the Dread Center Presents titles, all on the Epic Pictures website. And I'll have a link below for those. The next ones here are from Vinegar Syndrome. And this one, I love the cover on this. And this is an amazing movie. If you guys have never seen this one, this is an absolute must-see film. You know, definitely order this. And it's a movie here called uh, Body Melt. And, it, and it's a movie that kind of, to me, has the vibe a little bit, of, sort of, of street trash with the gore. Because it's like one of these movies that has these insane like over the top gross out gore effects like melting and everything essentially though it's an Australian film but this kind of pharmaceutical company kind of health spa place which is doing like weird type of experiments and one the one guy who works there ended up discovering that they're doing some odd stuff with these experiments and they're going to have some really weird side effects and bad side effects so he kind of goes and like looks up on the computer where they're give, sending out like test things like pills and all kind of like powders and all these kind of like weird types of health spa type tests like you know health health kind of food type things of these people in this in this small little town and you know of course though he's found out and right before he's able to leave he gets injected with this huge amount of this this, this weird test subject stuff and you know when he gets to the town he starts melting down and it's these insane sequences and then there's like these you know it's kind of though it all focuses on the side effects that's happening to the people in the town that are taking these things and then all the weird stuff that's going on at this health spa and like them all knowing what's going on and like it's really a strange movie and there's two guys in there that like these two two friends that remind me of like Australian Bill and Ted because they're especially Bill and Ted and Bill and Ted's bogus journey because like the wardrobes and like the clothes and the ones wearing the hat and everything they look like exactly like like, like Bill and Ted but this is just such a fun movie it has on here though a brand new 2k scan from the 16 millimeter negative it looks amazing it's a really really colorful movie too because of these like gross out gore effects it has on here though a commentary track on here a group commentary track it has a commentary track on here with this you know talking about the sound design it has a brand new um feature out on here you know about this destruction of body melt it has interview some um, making of interviews on here uh behind the scenes featurettes tons and tons of features on this one just a really really fun movie highly recommend you guys watch that one uh this one here is a movie called the house on um tombstone hill this is actually also Released the title that I always knew of it as was um, Dead Dudes in the House when Trauma released it, you know, years back. That's the one I always remember was Dead Dudes in the House. And this one is like basically though about a group of these um, these friends that are together that kind of cleaning up and like trying to restore this old house. But in this house that you know in the you know the beginning of this movie, you see this old woman you know got killed and like all kind of weird stuff with this old woman and everything in this house. And of course, though, you know, you know, the old woman killed, no, the, the one girl killed the mother and all, all kind of odd stuff happened. But basically, though, years later, this old woman, when they're trying to restore this house, is going around. And it's like this really strange looking old woman, kind of like, like, um, you know, um, I don't even know how to explain it. Just like kind of rabid granny, just a little bit old kind of woman, you know, sort of. And she's like going around and killing the people who are trying to restore this house. And there's like these wacky, crazy deaths and everything in this. This has here on here though a brand new 2K scan for the 60 millimeter negative. Has some interviews on here with the actors, as well as interview on here with the director. You know, um, as well as you know, like I said, the reversible artwork. This one here is an adult film, so keep that in mind. This is a movie here called Memories with Miss a Aggie. And this, you know, this actually had some good music in this one, though. Like, real 70s. I think this is from 1974, but, like, real super 70s kind of music. Kind of like that movie Crawl Space, kind of, like, I don't know. You know, I, you, know you mentioned an adult film, you say the music, but 
it did. It had some actually good music. And it's basically about this woman kind of like with her husband. And she's like, doesn't really get along with him now. And she's kind of like remembering the better times and her encounters with him. And it's like different actors playing her in the encounters. And you don't really know if these encounters really happen or they're sort of like her fantasy in the season and everything. But, you know, it's an interesting kind of movie here. Like I said, interesting music and like all these ones. You know, Vinegar Syndrome always does an amazing job, though, on their transfers and restoring these movies. This one came from a 2K scan from the 60 millimeter made negative as well on this one. And the next one here is from Cinedime. It's a movie here called Bloodfest. This is one I would give a top recommendation to. I thought this was such a fun movie. The one kid who's like the star of this movie is the one who plays Spider-Man's best friend in, you know, the latest Spider-Man movie. Um, I don't know. I, I think he's like a great actor and like a really fun character. He did a really good job in this movie. But this is essentially, though, about a group of these friends who are getting together to go to this kind of horror fest convention out kind of in the middle of nowhere where they're going to have like, um, it's kind of to promote this one movie and then like kind of horror in general but they have like kind of like horror kind of mazes and areas where they have set up like with crazy clowns and zombies and all kind of like walk through kind of areas and some celebrity guests from this one horror movie like Arbor Day Mask or something like that you know, like a movie that they talk about. It's not a real movie, but they talk about it in this film. But essentially though, they're all getting to get, these friends are getting to, get to go and do this. But the one friend, um, the one kid, though, his father says, I don't want you to go into this thing because I can't believe you like horror movies because in the beginning of this movie, his mother was killed by one of his patients because his father is this, you know, therapist and his father is, you know, the patient ended up killing the mother. And, um, you know, because of that, the, he's like, I can't believe you like horror films and want to go to an event like this. So basically forbids him to go. But of course, though, he still goes anyway. But when they get to this thing, it turns out that this is this crazy event run by this crazy guy who is like, you know, actually... They there to try and make his next big movie where you know people are actually getting killed in this whole event so like the second they get in there everyone that's like working there and like the clowns and everything start attacking people and killing everybody and it ends up being like a nightmare for these friends that are trying to survive and trying to hide out and you know of course they get to areas where it's like the killer clowns and the zombies and everything but it was a really really fun movie and it's from Rooster Teeth there was their production company behind this but really fun movie I like this one so much this is just one of those ones, like one of those like on the shelf movies like that I'm really glad to have and like really, really loved. This has on here though, um, some featurettes on the film on here, as well as some deleted scenes, as well as a commentary track on this one. The next one here is from Cinedime as well. This is a movie here called Strange Nature. This is basically, though, about this, um, you know, this uh, family, this mother and daughter that moved to this new kind of small town. And there's some really odd stuff going on with like um, like the animals and sort of like um, weird type of like deformities and deformities in like the frogs and like deformities in like some of the animals and like odd things are happening to them. And it's essentially though kind of like it's there's something is going on and there's also things starting to happen to some of the people there and the mother and son are trying to kind of figure out what's happening there because like the second they get to this town they're realizing that there's some really odd stuff going on and it's, it deals all with like some scientific kind of stuff too with like you don't know what's going on and what could be going on out there with like testing and things in the water and all that kind of stuff like you don't know exactly what's happening it's actually a pretty interesting movie and some really really crazy like creaturey gore kind of effects in this one uh, the next one here is from E1 and it's a movie that stars Tony Todd and Lance Henriksen called West of Hell and this is basically though all set on this train and it's, you know, about like a bounty hunter played by Tony Todd who is trying to get this one, um, I don't think I'm mixing up, I'm pretty sure it was Tony Todd was trying to get this one girl that he, there was like a bounty on. I think that was what it was. I don't want to mix up the two orders of this, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But on this train though, it's sort of like there's some really weird, like creepy kind of stuff going on on there. And it's like, there's been other kind of train movies like this. I don't know, I like movies that are set on trains because like this is essentially all on this train with these people kind of trapped on there. And like Tony Todd, they try and like, you know, um, kind of, you know, capture him and keep him from, like, killing this girl, but then he ends up, you know, getting loose on the train, so he's kind of after people on there and after this girl, and then also, though, there's some weird kind of creepy things that are happening on there as well, like, they're starting to see weird things and not exactly sure what's happening here, but kind of an interesting movie, though. 
Uh, this one here is called Lake Fear 3, and I think this one continues on more from the first film, because I don't remember, I think the second film was kind of standalone-ish, I, I, as I can remember. I don't remember the first movie too well, but this is essentially though about, it kind of has like a, some stuff in a bar that kind of has like a, reminds me of the film Feast a little bit, but this is basically though about the guy who I believe, because like I said, I can't remember the first movie too well, but I think, I believe he was the survivor from the first film, and then it's like, um, it ends up being like um, he kind of comes to this bar, but like the entity of this like bad spirits and stuff are kind of coming after him, and they're kind of like possessing people along the way, and it ends up like um, dealing with this guy who's kind of a ghost hunter, and these girls that are like kind of fans of his ghost show kind of coming along, but then they're like um, having like these entity spirits kind of coming after them because like the spirits came from the guy in the first movie, and they're kind of like possessing people. So this one has super super gross out gory effects in this and it's kind of like all the types of things that are happening to all of them and the people in the town and everything and all getting like possessed and everything but a fun movie here like I said I can't remember the um the, the, the uh, first film too much I, and I, like I said I think I think the second movie was kind of standalone-ish but I can't 100% remember and the next one here is a movie here called um from E1 as well called Nightblade this is basically though about this guy who was a cop and something ended up happening and he ended up like losing his job and his friend who works at this strip club ends up saying, you know, you should come there, work with me, and we can, like, kind of work together as partners and everything. But at this strip club, though, there is someone going around and, like, you know, attacking the girls. And they're getting, you know, have been getting killed. The one girl, well, the one girl got attacked, but she didn't die. But then there's, he's a, this person is sort of lurking around and coming after the girls and everything. And then, like, the police are kind of investigating it. And they're looking at these guys, like, you know, trying to figure out, could they be involved, the owners? And, like, what exactly is going on? And it's kind of like a whodunit kind of thing with getting, you know, these girls getting attacked. It kind of reminded me, like, of an old school kind of, like, um... I don't know how to explain it, but like it had like an old school throwback kind of vibe to what was happening. Todd Bridges is also in this movie as well, but it's basically though, like I said, trying to like figure out who is this person coming after all these girls. And this has on here though a making of, a commentary track, and bloopers on this one. And the next one's here from RLJ Entertainment. This one here is a movie called Housewife. This is basically though about this girl in the very beginning of the movie. You know, her mother like went totally crazy and ended up like trying to kill her. You know, or well, trying to kill her, but she ended up killing her sister and this girl because of this you know has been continuously throughout her life having these dreams and the like the, she's been kind of haunted by everything in her past and you know she's like getting ready to she's trying to have a baby and everything and it, and it's all that kind of stuff going on. But then she like goes to this, meets this kind of like guru, kind of like cult leader type guy. She goes to like one of his meetings. And like this this guy sort of like starts to kind of like open her eyes to things and sort of trying to help her. And she sort of thinks that it's like maybe going to help her a little bit and help her through these dreams and everything. But in, instead she starts like, things start to get even worse. And she starts to see like really w even more weird things. And there's like crazy kind kind of like um creatures and stuff like that sh that she's seeing and like I don't know it's a really really trippy out there movie the director of this movie also did the film Baskin which is a really really out there film as well but a really really interesting kind of movie here uh the next one here is from RLJ uh entertainment as well and it's a movie um you know from the creator of Final Destination called Sleep No More and this is basically though about the you know this set in the I think it was like 84 or sometime in the 80s I see students at college who are all like doing a program on like sleep studies and like you know um, kind of like seeing what happens when you stay up for like hours and hours and hours and days and days and days and like the um, the one of the subjects though it like went crazy and something bad had happened to them and like they ended up dying because of it and they had and they kind of totally cracked up and because of that though they're gonna just pretty much just about to be shut down and not being able to continue these studies and they know they're not gonna be able to get anyone else to actually participate from outside of this class you know because, because of what had happened so the students end up saying okay we're gonna do this study and we're all gonna stay up and it's supposed to like I think it's like yeah 200 hours I think is what it is something like that they're gonna stay up for this huge amount of like days without sleeping and of course though they're all doing this and it kind of goes through out like the um, side effects of what's is happening to them and of course they're all starting to crack up and they're all starting to see things and they even they said in real life they said that too if you stay up for that long you can really experience some weird stuff and of course that's what's happening to all these kids in there who are going through these like experiments and everything but a crazy thing of like I said all kind of weird things they're seeing and everything 
The next one here is from um, uh, Terror Films, and it's a movie here called Red Eye, which is one I was really interested in seeing for a long time. This has in here, you know, uh, Jessica Cameron's in this film. This is basically, though, about a group of these friends who are going to do a documentary on this, lo like, this legend out in the middle of West Virginia where it was like this guy had like killed these people and like I think he killed the kids and it was all kind of weird stuff that happened with this legend. So they're out there doing like going out there to film this documentary you know about the whole thing. So the one kid has a camera and he's like filming the whole thing but of course so when they get out there though they end up in you know encountering somebody wearing this kind of like this you know wearing this kind of sort of like Friday the 13th kind of like um two kind of like sack on them in their face and like um you know coming after them and it's kind of like a survival film about them all trying to survive out in the middle of the woods and everything but it is a crazy intense movie like an absolutely intense you know really really you know and well done film um for sure. Uh, the next one here is from Via Vision. This is the complete second season of the show, The Expanse. And this one is a all-region release. So this one, you know, has no region locking or anything like that on this one. So you guys can watch this one in the U.S. This is an Australian release, but you guys can watch this one on a U.S. player, Australian player, no, you know, region locking or anything like that on this one here. This is this this show really reminds me, very sim like similar vibe to uh, Total Recall and those kind of like in space type you know films and everything, and it has that total vibe and it's kind of like um all about like this this whole sort of like world up in space where they kind of like self-sufficient kind of solar system type world up there but there there's all kind of like problems going on up there with between like uh, the other planets and like um disagreements and things with water and food and everything and as they're having all kind of problems and everything up there it's kind of hard to explain everything but it's a really you know you know extensive show with what's going on and everything in it but it's actually really really well done like i said if you guys like things like total recall and those kind of show you know those kind of films and like you know in space kind of uh things like that would definitely recommend you guys check this out this has on here though some featurettes on here as well as cast and crew commentaries on this um release here and they released the first season as well on Blu-ray. The next one here, I'll have a link for you guys can order this one for the best price. And it's, this is from um, Blue Fox Entertainment. It's a movie here called The Night Eats the World. This is a zombie film. Kind of has a vibe, a little bit of 28 Days Later, about this guy who ends up going to this party. And then, you know, he ends up, you know, not really, not much is happening there. He's like not really you know, getting into the whole party or anything. So he ends up falling asleep in this room and then he ends up waking up and then like something has happened and when he when he wakes up, everybody in the whole building, in the whole apartment is dead. And he's like, doesn't know what had happened. He's like kind of looking around and he seems, appears to be the only person alive in this world. You know, but of course though, like in like, you know, 28 days later type situation, there ends up being zombies out there. So he's kind of barricaded himself inside of this apartment complex. He's trying to find food and everything and he's also trying to figure out exactly what had happened and what why everybody had died and then you know what had happened to everyone else and then why he, things didn't happen to him you know it's actually a pretty well done zombie film it's all set i believe it was yeah I mean, it was all shot in paris and everything you know so it has really great settings and everything in this one uh the next one here is from wild eye releasing this is from their raw and extreme line it's a movie here called clickbait and this is a movie about you know this girl finding out about she's trying to get cast in some horror films and stuff she's just trying to start at start out and she like finds on like Craigslist about this casting for this horror movie, and it's supposed to be like a snuff type horror film, like like to be like a you know that's kind of what it's supposed to be. But of course she goes out there with her boyfriend, and turns out that it actually is a real snuff film, and these guys are making this, and it's kind of her and her boyfriend kind of like trying to survive from these people and everything, and it's just like a crazy situation, sort of Last House on the Left kind of vibe a little bit to her trying to survive out there with the boyfriend. Friend. And next one here is from Wild Eye Releasing as well. It's a movie here called Paranormal Highway. This is all done found footage style. And this is about like a college debate team. You know, and the reason why it's found footage is because the, the debate team is doing a documentary kind of about, um, you know, because they have cameras too on their bus as they're going around to different schools and everything. And it's kind of all about the debate team and then has like um, interviews with the kids, interviews with like the, the families and, and like the school and all that kind of stuff. And it's all like the footage of them going along on their trip and kind of like the places they stop along their way and everything. But, you know, like I said, the footage starts though with these cops kind of looking over the footage, kind of presenting what they've discovered. 
because in the very beginning you see this bus ends up hitting something and you don't know what it is and like the guy is looking under the bus driver is looking under the bus saying what is this I don't know what exactly this is and you also find out too it cuts to like news footage too saying that something had happened to these kids on this bus and that they found like these chemicals all over the bus and they don't know what it is and then they're going to be looking over the footage to see what it is and essentially though what this movie is is like looking back at the footage to try and figure out exactly you know what these kids you know what this bus had ended up hitting and what exactly happened to these kids and like kind of all the things that they went through and you know it all takes place over one night but it's like a pretty well done found footage thing because it has like it has like an authentic feel too with the, the documentary aspect about like the interviews and all that kind of stuff to this one but like I said a pretty interesting uh, found footage style film here and the next one here I just have the disc for this one but this is from Random Media it's a movie here called The Landing and this is about a um it's a, you know, done as a documentary, but it's not a true documentary. It's like a, you know, kind of a parody documentary on, but it's done to seem really, really realistic about Apollo 18 mission. And it was about, um, the aspect of like the, the pilot who ends up actually landing the plane from Mal you know, going that goes up to the moon and laying the, I mean, landing the spacecraft, you know, to back to Earth. But ends up what ends up happening though is it's it was supposed to have a landing in the water, but it ends up landing actually on land in the middle of like the desert. And it's kind of like you know, he's survived, but the other astronauts didn't. And it's like I said, this is not a true documentary, but it's done to be realistic. And it's kind of talking about what exactly had happened and, you know, why the, you know, it crashed where it did and what ended up happening to other people and why they died and everything. But it's, like I said, it's done very authentic to really feel like this was a real NASA thing and this really did happen and it was like something that was covered up for years. Like I said, this is some random media and, you know, they, they have like a, I believe there's a DVD and a blurry release of this as well as it's on like demand and that kind of stuff. And the last one here is from Art Exploitation Films. It's a movie here called Molly. And this is a post apocalyptic film, similar in style to a film like something like Mad Max and those type of films. It's about this girl surviving out in the middle of nowhere. You know, and it's kind of like there's people out there and stuff that are kind of coming after her. And she has something about her that, like, um, so there's something like she has this sort of like ability and this kind of like thing to her, you know, where she kind of like almost like this shield thing that happens. And you don't, you kind of trying to figure out what is going on and you find out more about it as the movie goes along. But for, there's something about her too that other people are trying to find her because of this thing ability that she has. But it's essentially though about like this bad guy who has like, um, kind of like in Beyond Thunderdome, he's got like, um, he has people like fighting to deaths and stuff for like people to watch and stuff and that's kind of like his form of entertainment and he's like having people going after people and bringing more people in and he's like injecting them with weird type of serums and stuff that kind of turn them into like these crazy types of zombies it's kind of just a survival film about her out there but it's a really really well done film here it has on here though some um, behind you know has a making a feature on here as well as a commentary track on this one as well but anyway though guys that's all for this video showing you know my all the new horror DVDs and Blu-rays I got to review for you guys. Like I always said, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys saw any of these ones, let me know what you guys thought of them. Thanks again, though, for all the support, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Well, before we go, I actually have a couple different things to unbox. I've been really behind on some of these unboxings. I have two different um, BAM boxes here, and I have a link, too, for BAM box if you guys are interested in finding out about this. But I've had these, like, for, like, I don't know, two months or so, and I finally, you know, gonna get to these ones. But we'll see, you know, what's in here. There's always cool stuff in here, like pins, and they usually have uh, autographs and stuff in here. The first thing in here, though, I see is a wand, like a replica wand. I don't know which one this is for. If it's for Harry Potter or Fantastic Beasts. But that's a pretty cool replica wand in here. Let's see what's in this thing here. This is like a, that's like a cool marble, like this marble thing. And it's got like something, some kind of thing inside of it. That's really cool. And then let's see. I think these are the same. I think they actually sent two of these by mistake, I think. Yeah, that's why I, I think so. Let's see. There's a Dino Crunch thing here. That's cool. It's like, um, I don't know what. This, I, oh, yeah. I guess this is like supposed to be, you know, like, uh, you know, Chris Pratt for Jurassic World. Who signed this one? Bam Box Fan Club. You know, um, this is signed by the artist i believe fan art creation here and then let's see what this one is in here this is a oh this is um i guess this is the main the actor from jumanji the main kid yeah that's that's pretty cool in here like yeah 
signed by Bradley Pierce, you know, who is from Jumanji. Let's see what it says for this wand here. Let's see. This says, um, replica of dark, you know, so it's Harry Potter replica wand. And then there, some of these ones, this one doesn't seem to have a pin in it. It's weird. This one didn't have a, what is this thing in here? Is this another kind of, see, this is like some other kind of a cube. I guess this cube, that ball thing goes on top of that. But it's weird. See, it has in here like a Wild Stallions pin, but it didn't look like this one had it in it. But this one, the other box, has one. So that's one. That's cool in here. There's a Ted Theater Logan, you know, pin in here. That's really cool. Like that I really like. The limited one that there's only 99 of was a Rufus. And the Bill one, there was only 250 of them. But isn't that weird? That wasn't one in that one. This one, the ball is big. Is this one... The same one? No, this is, like I said, I think it's the exact same box. I guess somehow it came twice. And, and it has in here, though. Let's see if there's anything. This is a different print, different autograph here of the kid. You know, that that's, that's kind of cool here. Yeah, so it's two different wands. So, yeah, somehow this came twice. Sometimes they come and I get, like, two at the same time, but they're different ones. And this is also, the next one here is from Comet TV, from CometTV.com. And it's basically where you guys can watch um, TV shows and movies and that kind of stuff from the website. And they also have, like, an app, too, I think, so you can watch it on your TV and everything. And there's some cool stuff in here. There's, like, this gigantic Godzilla Pop Movies figurine here. And it was talking about how you could watch Godzilla movies on on Saturday on Comet TV double feature but that's a really cool big pop thing here they also do these things in the past too that they do like VHS style boxes to promote um, Rocky like I said these were from when they were airing in September like I said since I was behind on these ones but they have in here um, you know they also talk about charge which is their action um, you know to watch charge.com which is where they have action movies there's a cool Rocky um, sticker here as well as a um you know jump rope and then the last thing in here is like a um like a sweat towel like rocky sweat towel that's pretty cool though every time i think of um jump rope i don't know if any of you guys remember this or if any of your schools did this the, the, the jump rope for heart i don't know if anyone else the schools did that but i always remember that it was like this jump rope thing and it was like I don't even remember what it was, but I remember, like, I was always heavy and couldn't do jump roping. I never really had any luck with it. But anyway, though, guys, just wanted to show these unboxings as well since I hadn't gotten to these ones. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.